Hello guys, welcome to my yet another course on system programming. This time we will going to learn asynchronous programming design patterns. So let me go through the agenda of this course. In this course we shall going to understand asynchronous programming and problem it solves through a demo project. The prerequisite of doing this course is that you should have a basic knowledge of multithreading, you should have a very basic knowledge of thread synchronization and how mutex and condition variable works. And all the codes and demo program shall be implemented in the programming language C or C++, but you are eligible to do this course if you know how to program in at least one mainstream programming language, be it Java or Python. So table of content of this course includes that we will going to understand the sync and asynchronous programming paradigm. We shall going to understand how synchronous and asynchronous communication paradigms are implemented. We shall going to understand the goals of asynchronous programming and we will going to define the project to practice asynchronous programming concepts. We will going to implement asynchronous programming concepts through dispatch queue or event loop. We will going to design and implement our own asynchronous programming data structure called event loop and we will make use of these data structures in order to implement various asynchronous design patterns. So after doing this course you will be able to understand where to apply asynchronous programming techniques and why. You will be able to say goodbye to forced multithreading. You would be able to say goodbye to forced locking. You would know how to build scalable system softwares and finally you would be able to implement asynchronous method of communication between two different processes or two different threads or modules of a software. So good luck guys, this course would going to be very interesting course and you will be learning a lot. And you will be going to explore new methods of developing system softwares altogether.